you know what you want to say, but... It doesn't always come out. Yes, that's good. Way so just pause a second oh. and then... Hello, my name is Rita. I normally know what I want to say and I like to talk a lot, but when I want the words to come out, they never come out the way I would like. But my dementia has not progressed, so I'm quite happy about that. Is that all right? Yes. My name's Gordon. I have dementia. I'm, look I'm in, but looking out. My name's Fred. Uh, I have a Alzheimer's. Hi, my name's Sue. Um, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's five years ago. Are you ready? Hi, my name is Mac. I am suffering with dementia. Hi, I'm Sheila. Ten years ago, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Hello, I'm Dave. Uh, being part of the Beth Johnson group uh, and being able to speak openly uh, helps me tremendously, especially not... Can I do that again? I forgot the care a bit. You all right, John? Yep. Okay, John. Camera's running, John. And... My name's John. When I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, I felt strange and withdrawn. I was... in... Uh, I felt out of place. I'm afraid I was not making sense. I felt different and and when I was invited to a group, more confidence came through going to the meetings and the support that I, would, I get from being in the class. We are the Beth Johnson Foundation Deep Group, where people living with dementia can be who they are, whatever they are. Uh, we have a really good time together. What is a joy? Grandson is the joy of my life. Being here. Playing golf. Exercise and yoga. Manchester United since I was seven years old. <laughs> the joy for me is seeing my children. It's only once a year because they live abroad. But it makes me very happy when they do come for a month at a time. Grandad, Grandma, can I take you out to dinner? I'm paying. Unfortunately, she didn't have enough money on the credit card. So who pays? We do, but it was still a joy. Joy is art and craft that I do every week. It gives me pleasure and therapeutic for me. How? How does it, how does it make you feel? Why, how, why do you think it's therapeutic? It makes me feel pleased that I'm doing something that seems productive. Because dementia hasn't taken away words from me in any way, either writing or speaking, people often say to me, you can't have dementia. Yet it seems that it's taken almost everything else away from me. I can't read the signals of my own body. I don't know whether I'm hungry or thirsty. I don't know whether I need to go to the loo or not, and that's pretty humiliating. The worst thing that it's taken away from me is the knowledge of who's dead and who's alive which means that I break my heart at least once a week when I remember the people I love most aren't really here. Um, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's five years ago and when I was first told I'd got it, my first reaction was, I can't be a burden to my family, I'm off to Switzerland. But it's not like that, five years down the line, as you can see, I'm doing fine. What is a struggle? Being a carer for my husband who also has dementia. Bereavement. Remembering. Sleeping too much or too little. Keeping active is a struggle. I just carry on. 
Something's oh. happened recently where I've gone out of all my routine and yeah. I'm struggling to get back into it. And that's part of your so dimension. That's part of your dimension. Being part of this Beth Johnson group, being able to speak openly without my carer benefits me and all of the group. Uh, I've found if the carer's there, they take over. It's more about them than the people who've actually got dementia. What is a surprise? I had an MRI and was told that the scan was clear, but then I had a phone call saying that I'd been referred to the neurosurgeon. Surprise be it from the family. Nothing surprises me nowadays. Betty making cakes. I had a surprise visit from my granddaughter and my great-granddaughter. She's just starting school, so she came to see me before she went. The depth of the friendships I've made since I had dementia, it's been amazing. I have three allotments. Um, I was entered for Britain in Blue. Didn't think much of it. A letter through the post saying that I won a prize. And unfortunately, we didn't go to Galactic because we were on holiday. And when we got back, there was a nice letter there with a certificate and uh, a nice little check. So, yeah, it was a surprise. Considering I didn't think it was entering it. I've got an allotment in the... Uh, 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 grew up onions and different types of uh, vegetables and that. Uh, I've been to my doctors. Uh, he didn't know I had uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, while I was there, I felt un uncomfortable because he kept on looking at his watch. Uh, well, that's about it, yeah. I am suffering with dementia. You don't know what dementia is. I am living with it. Should I tell a stranger about it? Do I need to open up to somebody? Is it going to be beneficial to me? I am the expert at it. I know how I feel. I'm in, but looking out, and what I see is not good. I see a lot of professionals just ticking boxes. Why? What do they do? See you in 12 months. Next, please. Have I got to say that? Bit? You've got to say that question, You've yeah. You've got to ask the question. Who did you have with you when you were diagnosed? How did you feel when you had your diagnosis with dementia? When do you tell people that you've got dementia and how do, do you tell them? What hobbies do you have and how does it help you? If your group allows carers, does this affect what you feel you can say? How do you feel about professionals treating you today? A small group benefits me with my dementia. What do you think? Is there anything your group doesn't do that you'd like it to do? 